to the YouTubians. All right, uh, well, uh, this is going to be a very brief uh, clip here, but the motor runs. Um, I've got it hooked up to my car battery. That uh, fan noise in the background is the car's fan. I do notice this, that if I remove the contact and reconnect it, I have to start up the motor manually, then it runs. Um, as you can see in there, uh, there's minimal sparking. I checked on the other side as well, and uh, there's no no sparking on this thing. The motor is fairly quiet. So, um, so yeah, so it does work. I'm very surprised whether I'm killing my uh, 2021 Toyota Corolla. I, uh, I don't know, but I doubt it. So I, I, this has been running for a couple of minutes. motor is cool. That's a cool motor. But it's running. I also noticed this. That um, if I remove the connections and reverse them motor still runs in the same direction. So however this motor is set up, it only goes, uh, if I'm facing the motor, it's running counterclockwise. So in this direction, it's counterclockwise. If I remove power, it shuts off. And it wants to go forward, but it needs a little nudge to get it going. Now, set up inside the uh, fare box, maybe manually turning the crank will uh, will get the motor in the right uh, path. But I don't think so because it's gonna that that crank is uh, turning the um, the reduction gear. So I don't know that the reduction gear is going to, uh, to do anything proper. However, we'll, uh, we'll experiment further. So I do have a motor that does turn on 12 volts. Alrighty, so that's, uh, that's kind of actually part three of this uh, motor uh, section. I'll uh, upload all three of these as a, uh, as a group. So there you go. There's the motor. And uh, we'll play from there. In the meantime, have a nice day.